oil pump, okay? And this is a dual stage oil pump, guys. I have a um, P069, 06DD, double D, all right? But yes, I have heard instances of uh, people going out looking just for this solenoid. An oil pump is gonna do its job. It's the, most of the work is being done by the solenoid. They seem to think that's the only problem. And as you can see, guys, it is replaceable. I mean, it's a pin holding that in. Simply pull that pin out and pop the solenoid out and you there. But here we have to do the whole whole oil pump and that's what I'm gonna do. But guys, keep in mind, if you're doing one of these for a P06DD, make sure the car has the correct oil filter in it. Well, this one is out. And make sure the car had oil in it to begin with. Uh, here we are, I'm at this Chrysler town and country, Grand Caravan uh, with the Pentastar engine. I'm getting ready to replace the oil pump, guys. Okay, I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there concerning this, but I'm gonna show you guys my version. And the easiest thing about this one is, I only have to remove this pan. <laughs> I do not have to remove any kind of exhaust. I think some of the models, the Wranglers and the Jeeps and things like that, there's a lot of things you have to remove. But I have access to all of the oil pan bolts. Uh, that's two, this is a two piece oil pan, but I only need to remove this from the oil pan pump will be right in this area okay so um let's get to it guys first thing you need to do is drain the oil of course and then uh let's get this pan removed and we're gonna uh go from there guys let's get it last time i did one oh yeah it's swivel time there's two of them back there ain't there's one right here and one like that one's gonna be a pain in the butt to get to. I don't know how the hell we're gonna do that. Well, That's this right. one, I can get to this one. Hold on. Yeah, you can get to it from here. Mac. Mac make the best little tin swivel socket. Yeah, we can get it. I remember doing it. I didn't have to remove this piece. And there's a way around it. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm going I'm that. going to borrow uh take this uh this uh, pickup tube off. Yeah, guys, we're trying to avoid from pulling this oil pan completely off. So we got the first two off. And uh, we use one of Max. Took off the pickup tube. Now yeah. I just got to get this last one. Otherwise, you have to take the upper oil pan out. You don't want that. Nah, I've done it before like this. It's just been there like, yeah. So from there, it's a little sensor going to be plugged in up here. So we get that. But guys, I got something I want to show you guys. Uh this oil pan this is the uh this is the same car that i did the rocker on broken rocker on remember when i was hunting down those needle bearings in fact let me take this over here remember uh, we used to always discuss where's those needle bearings they have to go somewhere some of them get chewed up and end up on the camshaft uh sensor and guess where the rest of it go yes right here guys i just pulled this oil pan off uh that's caravan that I did the lifters on. Lo and behold, here it goes, the needle band. Yeah, okay, once you get that off, it's a boat, another boat that's in the center of that. And that sensor, oh, that sensor, I hope I don't have to remove this axle to get that connector out. Oh. Yeah, it's like a T30. It's a Torx. T30. But take the cover all the way off, and I want you to be careful with this, because I always break those, and I don't want you to break it. It's the endless bolt. There we go. All right, guys, I think this is like a T30. We got to get this off. Oh, it did turn. Hmm. Oh, stripped. Got scared. I'm not gonna say that. So be careful, cause this this thing right here break all the time. So hold on, hold on. Uh, I need a little screwdriver to pry this out. This gear out of here. Uh huh. Now is that other end of that uh? It's coming slowly. There we go. Yeah, you still got tension on here. Yeah, the spring tension. The, right. The whole, because this, that brown piece, be careful with that. All right. 
Now, you, you ain't ready to come out because this sensor's still plugged up. Because this is an old, man, we're just going to cut this out of here. Yeah, we're going to just cut this out, guys. Normally, I bring it out one complete, but uh, now this is going to be my biggest challenge. It's likely why they recommend you remove the oil pan, but we're still going to try to get this out without doing such. It's going to come out very slow. All right, I don't think, yeah, this is it's key, so it only go on one way, guys. So I wouldn't really be too concerned with that. It's not time. I think it's just simply key. As far as this sensor, it's routed all the way back here, man, with a little clip on it. Take off from the inside? No, no, it's got a clip on it. That, uh... All right, guys, so like I said, the only problem I had was the sensor being hidden back here. I had no choice. Had to remove the axle. Of course, to remove the axle, you got to remove parts of the suspension. <laughs> but once again, I had no problem dodging the bullet with this two-piece oil pan. All right. Now, guys, uh, one thing I want you to do is not panic, okay? If you have a new OEM oil pump, you will not have to reuse this cover, all right? It has little indentions in it, but there's no way to bolt it down. I thought I was going to have to tap in the screws, but no. They just say get rid of it. It's not needed. And uh, it's not th it's not necessarily in time, but this this black plate happens to match right here, so I put it right back in the same category, guys. There's a torque spec on this. I will put it in the description. There's also a torque spec on the hold down bolts. All right. Now, what I had to use in order to gain access to those bolts was I had to go borrow two guys. Yes, this right here, guys. I had to use I had to go borrow someone's 10 millimeter swivel socket. In order to get up there, y'all see there's one right there. And there's one right there. That is the only reason you have to remove the oil pan. The other oil pan, okay? But if you can avoid doing that, you can fish that out of there, alright? These are almost out of warranty, so I have no problem with letting you guys know. Uh, it's not really a secret, it's just uh, you will figure it out yourself if you're really interested in trying to find the shortest way, the quickest way to get this out as possible. And guys, keep in mind, I did find needle bearing in the oil pan. I showed y'all video clips of that. That came from that rocker arm failure up top from the valve train. Yes, those needle bearing has to go somewhere. They would tend to be powdered and crushed up and end up on the cam sensor or full-blown needle bearings in the oil pan itself. That's why it's imperative that you drop the oil pan. Now, thank goodness it's not going to end up in here, this part of the oil pan. All right, it end up in the black oil pan and it will not come out via the oil drain plug because the oil drain plug is not uh y'all see how that's made yes the oil drain plug is setting too high for anything setting in the bottom to come up and go out all right guys that's it i'm gonna put the reseal rtv use rtv on this guys real good rtv and uh bolt everything thing back up refill it up with oil make sure you got a good oil filter Keep in mind, we're chasing P06DD. Uh, number one, first thing you should check with a code like that is your oil filter. Make sure, first of all, make sure it's the correct oil filter. Second of all, make sure the car has oil in it in the first place. A lot of guys are misdiagnosing this oil pump. The car don't even have oil in it. Now, you have a whole different problem if you don't have oil in your car. But that's what you're supposed to check. How are you going to achieve oil pressure, proper oil pressure, if you do not have the proper amount of oil in the crankcase? Okay, so verify that the filter is correct. There are two different type filters fit a uh, 3.6 Pentastar engine. The earlier built filters and the later built filter. That's why it's not wise to uh, interchange uh, oil filter adapter housing. Because you might get one for a later year than the newer one and cause some problems, guys. So, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap this up, guys. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.